grand lords, gracious ladies, wise olive and feely and good gentles all. It is a great <coughs> honor for a feely bard such as myself to perform in your grand hall. The piece I'm going to perform for you today comes from the faraway land of Cymru, known in this language as Wales, and was taught to me in direct line from the student of the student of the student of the grand bard Aneirin himself, and translated by my own humble self so that we may all enjoy this piece. Hanoi Godoven, Aneirin Aikant. Hanoi Godoven, Shavan, a new cani. This is the Godoven, Aneirin's master song. This is the Godoven. Shavan sings it now. Igorodin, heroes of Wales, go forth! Defend your land from seismic dictum. Men came to Ketraith, they were renowned. Wine and mead in gold cups was their drink. A year in noble ceremonial spent three men and three score and three hundred, all wearing the golden torques. But of all those who charged, after much reveling, only three won free through courage and strife. The Warhound of Aaron, Kenan the Dauntless, and myself, drenched in blood, for the sake of my song. Splendid the song. Underfoot for a while, my knee is stretched, my hands bound in an earthen house, with an iron band round my two knees. But of the meat of the horn and the men of Catrife, I, a Nairin, will compose, as Taliesin knows, an elaborate song or strain to Godolvin before dawn of the brightest day. Splendid the song. A war band there was, soldiers surrounding Catrife made war. Bloody motley, trampled, trod on, warriors trod on, vengeance meets wages for corpses, though. Great was the cost. Splendid the song. Bright the war band that, after fatal impulse, filled Aaron. Their hands satisfied the mouths of brown eagles and made feasts <laughs> for beasts of prey. From another sake, ruler of men, they set themselves against the hostile spears. Before Katrife, keen were the gold torqued men. They thrust, they slaughtered those who stood firm. Early they rose at the dawning. There was a conflict at the Aber in front of the course. The pass and the knoll were ablaze. Like a boar, they charged the hill. Courteous, grave, savage were the dark spear shafts. Early they rose at the dawning. There was a conflict at the Aber in front of the course. Like a boar, they charged the hill. <clears throat> Early they rose at Matins, after kindling a fire at the Aber in front of the fence, the warriors charged in a band. In the lead, leading, following before hundreds the first to charge, he was as eager for the slaughter as for the drinking of wine and mead. With a fierce and impetuous stroke of the sword, how irresistible was he when he would kill the foe? Would that his equal could be found? No cowards could bear the hall's uproar like a fire that rages when kindled. On Tuesday, they donned the dark armor. On Wednesday, they polished enameled armor. On Thursday, terms were agreed on. On Friday, fearless, they fought as one. On Saturday, carnage all around. On Sunday, waist deep the blood. After defeat, Igorovin say, before Monog's tent on his return, there came but one man in a hundred. Manog, of the impregnable strand of Godolin. Manog, for him, our cheeks are sad. Before the raging flame of Ivan, he turned not aside. He stationed men of firmness in the entrance. He formed a wall in the van. Vigorously, he descended upon the furious foe. He caused a devastation and sustained great weight. Yet of Manavog's boar band, there returned but a single blade, bitter and dripping. Men launched the assault. They moved as one, short with their lives, made drunk by pure mead. Manavog's warband, renowned in battle, for a feast of mead they gave their lives. 
Karavag and Mavag, Poish and Avon, <coughs> Guigan, Guian, Gwyn and Kafan, steel weaponed Peridor, Guardor and Avon, a warband steadfast in battle. Shields shattered. But though they were being slain, they slew. Not one to his own home returned. Men launched the assault. Together were they regaled that year over mead, and how great was their design. How sad the tale, the insatiable hiraif, the longing. How bitter their homes, no child to cherish it. How long the grief for them, and mourning. For ardent men of winderish lands, renowned Manothog's feast was fashioned. And its cost, the Battle of Cathrife. <laughs>